Lord. We get ready to start service. Amen. 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 I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, I came running, I came running when they said unto me. Well, I came running when they said unto me. Well, I came running when they said unto me. Oh, let us go into the house of the well, I came running, I came running when they said unto me. Well, I came running. I came running. Oh, let us go. Because uh, I want to be there. I want to be right there. I want to be there in the house of the Lord. I want to be there. I want to be right there. I want to be there in the house of the Lord. So I came running, I came running when they said, Well, oh, I came running. Well, I came running. Oh, let us go. So glad to be here. I'm glad I'm. Hallelujah. So glad I'm right here. So glad. So glad I'm here in the house. Hallelujah. So glad I'm. So glad I'm right here. So glad I'm right here. Here in the house of. So glad I'm here. Hallelujah. So glad I'm right here. So glad I'm here in the house. Lord. So glad I'm here. So glad I'm right here. So glad I'm here in the house of the Lord. I was glad, I was glad when they said, oh, I was glad when they said to me, oh, I was glad. So glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us, hallelujah, another day, Lord Jesus, with your mercy, with your grace. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be in our right minds, Lord Jesus, and in your house, in your presence tonight, Lord God. We thank you for everyone that is on their way. We thank you for all that have made it here already, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you are in our in our presence, in our midst, Lord God. Have your way tonight, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way with our speakers. Have your way with people that are working in your house. Have your way, Lord God, with the hearts that will hear your word and sing praise on tonight, Lord Jesus. 
Let everyone that come in, Lord God, with their heavy burdens, heavy hearts, Lord God, let them be released, Lord God. Let them have peace. Let them have joy, Lord God, because we're here in your presence, Lord Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. And all these blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Please turn to your Bibles to Psalm chapter 125. 125 in the book of Psalms. Amen. When we all get there, please say amen and we're going to read together. Psalm 125. Everyone have it? Say amen. Amen. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for, as for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. Amen. Amen. Let the word add a blessing to the hearers and the readers of this word. Amen. And at this time, we're going to have praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And at this time, we're going to have our praise team come up. Amen. We're going to praise God together. Amen. Amen. It's Friday night. We're going to praise the Lord. Amen.
song. Hallelujah. 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 I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will praise him. You're worthy, hallelujah. God is great, hallelujah. He's awesome, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I will praise the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul. To bless the Lord, I command my soul to bless the Lord. So, 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 bless the Lord. So, so, bless the Lord. So, 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 bless the Lord. So, so, bless the Lord. I command my soul, my soul. To bless the Lord, I command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless the Lord. So, 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 bless the Lord. So, 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 bless the Lord. So, 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 bless the Lord. So bless the Lord. I command my hands, my hands to bless the Lord. I command my hands to bless the Lord. I command my hands to bless the Lord. I command my hands to bless the Lord. Hands, 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 give them praise. Hands, hands. Praise. Give him praise. Hands, hands. Give him praise. I command my mouth, my mouth to bless the Lord. I command my mouth to bless the Lord. I command my mouth, my mouth to bless the Lord. I command my mouth to bless the Lord. Mouth, mouth, mouth. Give him praise. Bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless. 
bless the Lord. I commend my soul, my soul to bless the Lord. I commend my soul to bless the Lord. I commend my hands, my hands to bless the Lord. I command my hands to bless the Lord. I command my hands to bless the Lord. I command my hands. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you there is none like you oh Jesus no one else can touch my heart like you do I can search I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you there is none like you oh Jesus no one else Search for all eternity long and find there is none, 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 there is none. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Amen. There is none like the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no one that can save us. No one that can hold us. No one gives us peace. No one can give us joy that he gives. Amen. Hallelujah. So he deserves all the glory. He deserves all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have come, we have to, come give you praise, to give you praise. Holy One, Holy Ancient One. of Days. Oh, we have come, we have come in victory. In victory. Feel with love Feel and liberty. liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh, we have come, we have come to give you praise, praise Holy One, Holy One, Holy One, Agent of Day. Oh, we have come, we have come in victory, victory, filled with love with and liberty. liberty. To give you praise, holy one, holy one, ancient of days. Oh, we have, we have come in victory, in victory filled with love filled with and liberty. And liberty. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh,
Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, will you please stand to your feet as we as we welcome and say praise the Lord to our suffragan bishop, Thomas Alexander, our regional, our regional diocese. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> our regional bishop. I'm sorry. Suffragan bishop. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord and God bless you. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord, everybody. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tell somebody, I don't know what you came to do. Well, that's what we want to talk about, what we came to do. Say praise the Lord. Because a lot of time we may come to church and we really don't know. Uh, we don't know what we came to do. Tell somebody, first of all, I came to praise the Lord because he saved me. I want to tell you four reasons. I want to tell you four reasons the regions are meeting. First of all, every time we meet, we want it to really be true that you can say whatever else you came to do, I came to praise the Lord. Say hallelujah because he saved me. I never want to pass up an opportunity just to praise him and worship him. So the first thing we always come for is to praise God. He's worthy of all the praise. We were studying in Bible class. God said he cut off Israel because they wouldn't give him the fruit. He made a parable about a vineyard, said a man made a vineyard and put people in charge of it. And then he sent for his part and they wouldn't give him his part. So he cut him off. Now the Lord said, I brought you in. And do you know what God's part is? Tell somebody, praise and worship. And if we don't praise him, and if we don't worship him, say praise the Lord, he'll get somebody off the street corner. So the first reason we gather to praise and worship God. Reason number two I want us to know about the region. The regions are to support the great Central California District Council. Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. How many know that strong churches make strong districts? Strong districts make strong regions. And the bishop's vision is strong regions will make a strong council. Say praise the Lord. Bishop's vision is he wants 2,000 council members how's he want to get them 500 from each of four regions so region one needs 500 council members say praise the lord Amen. we're about 350 so we say praise the lord somebody we need to grow all of our churches need to grow and we need to grow in our reporting i want you to stay with me now this purpose the regions we not only get together to praise god but the other purpose is we want to be a strong support for the council. How many know where the next council is and when it is? July, third week, Palmdale. Tell the person beside you, you ought to take off at least one day. You could take off Friday. You've been working for them so hard, they'll let you have one day off and get up there on Friday. We want to have a great council. Somebody may say we can't have a spectacular Turn out because it's all the way in Palmdale. But that's not that far. We can go say praise the Lord, somebody. So one of the main purposes of the region is to be strong supporters of the council. We also support the council financially. Every time we have a pre-conference meeting, a third of the money goes to the council. We would like to get, say praise the Lord, somebody. 3,000, every pre-conference, we'd like to get $3,000. And a 1,000 of it goes right away to the council. We talked about two reasons. I want you to stay with me. First, we come to worship God. Second, we come to be a strong support for the council. Third, we want to be a strong support for the ministries and auxiliaries. Say praise the Lord. Praise How about the men's ministry? Somebody say praise the Lord for the men's ministry. And the women's ministry, and the youth ministry, and the evangelism ministry. But the council has said we can't do it all at the council. 
because we only meet three times a year in the council for a few days. So they said, building up the women's ministry has to be done in the regions. Amen. Amen. So we want a strong women's ministry in region one. We want a strong youth ministry in region one. We want a strong women's ministry in region one. And so the, this is the third purpose. We want to give the ministries. Say praise the Lord, somebody. Praise Jesus Lord. said, I did not come to be served. I came to serve. And when God gave you the Holy Ghost, he gave you a desire to serve. Now we have to provide an outlet for that to happen. And we would like for all of us to praise the Lord. Tell the person beside you, you should be in ministry. You should be a part of ministry. You've been saved too long to be sitting around. Say praise <laughs> Say praise the Lord, everybody. And so you want to find one of these five ministries that are active. I've got $5 for the first person to stand up and tell me all five ministries. Not you, Joan. She thought she had an easy five. Not you, Tierra. Say praise the Lord. Who else will tell me the five ministries that are active in Region 1? Not you, Sister A. She knows. Men, women, Youth, music and worship, and evangelism. And we want those to be five strong auxiliaries in Region 1. The fourth reason we want, the fourth thing we want to work on in the region, say praise the Lord, y'all. I'm glad you all are patient with me. You have to know your Suffolk Bishop is an old engineer. An old strategic planner. And I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all have to take what you got. The Lord has given you a strategic planner. So we want to do some strategic planning. How many think you can hang with that? I know some people said, I get enough of that at work. Say, praise the Lord. But Jesus said sometimes the children of this world are wiser than the children of the kingdom. So what the world knows how to do, we ought to be able to do it in the house of God. So it's nothing complicated now. Tomorrow, let me tell you, there are four sessions tomorrow, five. Five sessions. The first one is like at 8.30, that's evangelistic outreach. And I know COA already knows how to do that. Amen. And we're just going to be helping you all tomorrow. So, so Cotad, you just go ahead and take the lead on that evangelistic outreach. And they'll be starting 8.30 or 8.45 or whatever time. And they have material supplied. All those that you have it in your heart to be a part of that evangelistic outreach, raise your hand. Say praise the Lord. So, so, so that'll be starting at 8.30 or 8.45 or whatever. Now our four sessions will be starting at 10, 11, and about 12.30 or, and 1.30. And they'll be about an hour each. The first session, we want to talk about what the bishop wants to see coming out of the regions. Say praise the Lord. Because we're not here to do our own thing. We're here to do what the bishop wants to see coming out of the regions. He wants the region to grow the membership. He wants us to grow the fellowship. He wants more women and he wants them to be closer. And he wants them to be strong provide, uh, 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 supporters of the council. So the first hour, now I'll tell you this. The last time Bishop Douglas talked to us, he said, don't ask me for any new goals. He said, you haven't done anything with the old ones. He said, there's nothing wrong with the goals I gave you. I told you I wanted you to grow your membership. I told you, Region 1, you got 350 council members, and I want you to have 500. What part of that do you not understand that you want some new goals? Say praise the Lord, somebody. And, and, uh, and so the first hour, we're going to be talking about the bishop's vision for the council and how he wants to see that come out of the regions. Tell the person beside you, you don't want to miss this. The second hour, we want to think about the ministries and what the needs are. Everybody say needs assessment. We don't want to just work on anything. We want to work on something intentionally. So we want to do an assessment and say, 
What do young people need these days that can be worked on in the region? 20 churches can certainly do more than one church. So the young people from one church, they may be a few young people, but if you get the young people from 20 churches, they ought to be able to do more things. So let's find out what the young people need. Let's find out what women need, what Christian women in our churches and communities need. So we're going to do a needs assessment. So in the second hour, we'll be talking about surveys and how to do needs assessment. We're going to do needs assessment for spirit, soul, and body. As a person beside you quietly, how's your spiritual health? Uh-huh. It's getting quiet in here. Uh-huh. We want to survey spiritual health. How many recognize that if we worked on it this year, you could really Im- improve your prayer life? Say praise the Lord. That might be a good thing to work on the first year. Start in prayer. I see heads nodding over there. I know that Mother Mayfield knows. Praise God. The found- foundation is prayer. And so we're going to be saying, how's your spiritual life? Then we're going to say, how's your emotional health? Like, are you depressed? Are your children depressed? Are you traumatized? Are you ber- bereaved and not recovered? And so we're going to be assessing needs and seeing what we should work on. So we're going to be assessing spirit, soul, and body. How's your health? How's your healthy eating habits and exercise? I'm not looking at nobody. Say praise the Lord. I'm looking at all of us. Say praise the Lord. And so the second hour tomorrow, we're going to be talking about needs assessment. I'm, I'm almost through. I thank the Lord for the pastors that are here. And each, say praise the Lord. Each one of them is going to be having something to say. The third hour will be breakout groups. That'll be after lunch. We'll have breakout groups. The men will meet one place and the women one place and the youth one place. And they will talk about the needs assessment for those groups in particular. And the fourth service of the day will be out by 3 o'clock. The fourth service of the day will be an evangelistic service. And we're going to have a good preacher. We're flying in a preacher from where? From Ohio, right? (laughs) We're flying him in from Ohio. He will be comfortable here. Don't tell him I sat in his seat tonight. I would never sit in his seat if he was here. Say praise the Lord. (laughs) But we're flying in Dr. Portis to be our, say praise the Lord. <laughs> we're flying him in all the way from Ohio to be our preacher tomorrow. So we're going to have a wonderful time. So plan to be with us all day tomorrow. Now, I, I just want to repeat briefly why we're here. We're here to worship God. We're here to think about how to support the council. We're here to think about the needs we have in the ministry areas and how the ministries can be more effective. And then we are here to, what's the fourth one? I forget where I am. Oh, and then we're here to do do some strategic planning. I I don't want that term to to turn you off. It's not complicated. We've been working on it a long time to simplify it. But when we find out the needs, we want to make a plan and implement that plan. And we think we'll get some good results. Say praise the Lord. Do you all think we can do this? When Moses gave the law to Israel, he said, This is not too hard for you to do. He said, it's not in heaven. Do you have to send somebody up to heaven to get it? It's not down under the ocean. He said, it's near you, even in your mouth. So tell somebody it's in your mouth and in your brain. And if we get together, God can bless us to do it. Say praise the Lord. So I thank the Lord for being here tonight. I thank the Lord for these pastors. Say praise the Lord for our pastors. Say praise the Lord for our pastors. We have three fine pastors that are here tonight. Now, you can't always control a clash of the calendar because Pentecost Day comes when it's going to come. And so our pour is taking place tonight, but the Spirit is pouring out here. I feel it now. Say praise the Lord. So we don't feel divided. We're just doing something over here and something else is being done someplace else. Pastors that were not able to be here tonight We'll have another opportunity at 9 o'clock in the morning to hear the pastor's session. So at this time, I want each of the pastors to come, praise the Lord, and uh, I'll have two of them to come at this time. And the third one will be our speaker for tonight, so we won't bring him. But first of all, I'm going to ask, say praise the Lord for Pastor Turner. 
Aren't you glad the Lord sent us a choir director? A choir directing pastor? Some of our pastors used to be choir directors back in the day. But our day is all, all, of, all of us all of us used to be choir directors back in the day. But our day is gone. Amen. But thank God for Pastor Turner. Please come and have words. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again. I'm so thankful to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. It's always a, a privilege, amen, to be in God's house. I know that something great and powerful and mighty is going to happen tonight. Amen. If you come expecting a blessing, amen, God is going to meet you at your need. So I'm just grateful to be here. I brought a few members. Our three members from New Hope, can you please stand at this time? Amen. Amen. Three of our members are here. Amen. We're here to support. Amen. We've come to worship the Lord and we come to give God all the honor and the glory. It is a blessing to be able to fellowship. Amen. In our region. Amen. With all of our churches. Amen. And I do want to say thank you for your support. Amen. At our Women's Day service. Amen. Those who are able to come out. Those pastors that allowed. Amen. There are women to come out and fellowship and support. Amen. We had a great time and get ready. Amen. For the word of the Lord. Prepare your heart. Amen. Because I believe that the Lord is going to speak to us in a mighty way. In Jesus name. Has thou not known, has thou not heard the everlasting God? The creator, of, the creator of the ends of the earth fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not find. I feel God in here tonight. Y'all so quiet in here. I've been going to for the last month and a half, I've been going to funerals every weekend. I said I've been going to funerals for the last month and a half. And so I, I, I appreciate this thing called life. If you can wake up in the morning and know your name, you're in good shape. Y'all ain't saying nothing. So when we come into the house of God, we should give God the greatest praise that we can give him. Listen. You don't know if I'll ever see you again. And we don't know if we'll ever see each other again. So while we're here, we might as well give God some glory, right? I say we might as well give God some glory. I say we might as well give God some glory. I say we might as well give God some glory. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. 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 God wants to hear praises from your mouth. I said he wants to hear praises from your mouth. I ain't never read in the scripture where the Bible said, give us a joyful nod. Right. I ain't never read in the scripture to give us a joyful nod. He said, make a joyful noise. If, listen, if, 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 God, if God ain't done nothing for you, then I don't expect you to say nothing. But guess what? You didn't wake yourself up this morning. You don't, you don't know when you went to sleep last night. But God, with his infinite wisdom, his, his, his grace and his mercy, you know you ain't been doing right. Y'all sure ain't saying nothing now. But God looked beyond your faults, and he saw your needs, and he woke you up this morning with a portion of health and strength he put clapping in your hands. He put song in your heart. You better clap your hands and give God some glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're very anxious to have the choir come and render music to us. 
But I think we need to do the offering first. Say praise the Lord. Oh, it got off the quiet. Amen. We need to, to get the district elder back. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I, I want to say something about finances. Say praise the Lord. What we want to do in the region, say praise the Lord, everybody. What we want to do in the region is we want to save some money for ministry. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, say praise the Lord. We want to put money into ministry. We want to put, put money into ministry. I'm sharing this with you, our financial program. Of all the money we receive, we want it to be to go into three parts. A third of it goes straight to the council because we want to be a blessing to the council. Say praise the Lord. A third of it goes for our operations. So when we come to our operations, we only have a third of the money to, to sh share. So we got to cover the place where our host church, we got to cover the musicians, we got to cover the office staff that work so hard. All of that has to come out of a third. So you, you all that are going to get some of this money, just know we're only going to split a third of it between you. Say praise the Lord. The other third we want to save. Say praise the Lord. Tell somebody we want to save some money. The region doesn't need to be broke because we want to put money into ministry. Our objective is to get $3,000 every pre-conference. We want all the pastors to give $100 at least. We want everybody that can to give $100 or $50. <clears throat> Tell the person beside you, if you've got a little bit more, give a little bit more. Lean over and tell Sister Alexander that. <laughs> tell him if you got a little bit more, you ought to give a little bit more. We want all the pastors to give $100. But like, if I got a little bit more, I ought to give a little bit more. It may be more of a sacrifice to somebody than it will be for me. So I'm not going to go by what you can give. By the grace of God, I plan to go. Say praise the Lord. Do, do, do you all understand? That way it's not grievous for anybody. We want everybody that can to give $100. If you can't give $50, $20, we have electronic giving. Come right on up. Sister Alexandra's waving her card. Say praise the Lord. Pray, you all. Pray. Say praise the Lord. One time the, well, I, I, I won't go into that. One time the prophet said to the king said strike your arrows on the ground the king struck three times and quit the prophet said why did you quit he said god was moving he said if you kept on striking god would have done much more in your life so while the lord is moving come on and stand up here come on and stand up here all those that are going to give electronically please come on at this time right while, while we're talking right while we're talking uh Sister LeBlanc, say praise the Lord. Sister LeBlanc, strong woman, financially uh, an officer, assistant to, to Dr. Portis. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say praise the Lord. Amen. Do you all think we have time to receive this offering? Say praise the Lord. If you're making out a check, make it to Suffolk and... Oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, the check can be made out to re Region 1 because we do have a Region 1 account. Do you all know by the grace of God we got some money in our account? Almost. A th uh, we, we have $1,000 for every pre-conference meeting we're having. And by the grace of God, we want to have 1000 when this meeting is over, too. I know it'll be a stretch for us. But how many know that nothing is too hard for God? Say praise the Lord. So give her my card and tell her whatever Sister Alexander gave to give at least twice that. So what did you? Uh, oh, say praise the Lord. I spoke. Say praise the Lord. Somebody said I've spoken and I cannot take it back. Say praise the Lord. Amen. So I thank you for taking the time. I want you to be praying. Amen. And seeking the Lord for what uh, 
he wants you to do, amen. We may not have everybody we would like to have here, but I think there's enough here that God can make us a blessing in the name of Jesus. I want to get this offering over, amen, and get the choir up here, amen. We have uh, a, a speaker for tonight, full of fire and the Holy Ghost. Say praise the Lord, amen. And we're not going to be here all night, but we're going to take care of what needs to be done in the name of Jesus. I, I want all the churches here to identify yourself. They say, praise God. I want somebody from each church to stand up and say real loud who you are and what church you're from and what your pastor's name is. And if you want to say oh, one word of testimony, you can do so. A representative from each church, please stand. I want this young lady over here to stand. Praise the Lord. This young lady right here. This young lady. Say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who else is standing representing your church? So you're standing representing your church? Who else is standing representing your church? Is that Elder Freddie? God bless you, Elder Freddie. The men's ministry is represented here. Are you standing representing your church? Uh, are, are there any other churches? All right. My name is Deacon Kimo Dunn. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm here from the Temple of Faith Pentecostal Church. My pastor is Assistant District Elder, Elder Ezel Mayfield, who will also be our keynote speaker on tonight. And I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody that came on tonight, and God bless us all. Amen. Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. All right. Praise the Lord, everyone. <laughs> I am Sister Mildred Sims, and Elder Thomas Alexander, or Suffolk and Bishop Thomas Alexander, is my pastor. Praise the Lord. Who's next? Praise the Lord, church. He wants me to sing. Um, praise the Lord, church. I'm here from New Hope in Christ, um, representing um, Pastor Mike Turner. Is not only my pastor, he's my dad, and it's such a blessing to be here with you guys. Oh, God bless. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm Deacon James Whitfield. Amen. And I'm from Church of Apostolicity. Amen. Amen. Well, my pastor is District Elder, soon to be Suffragan Bishop, John L. Portis. Amen. Amen. It's glad to see everybody in our house. Amen. Amen. Can you count to 3,000? Can you count to 3,000? Just say yes. No. Please come help us with the offering. Help us receive, help us receive our offering. I need, some, I need somebody that can count to at least 3,000. All right. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank the Lord Jesus. I'm Elder Jesse Woodard out of St. Peter Bethany Apostolic Communion Church. My pastor is David, District Elder David Richardson. Thank the Lord Jesus. Thank the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, take heed to what you hear the word of God. When you hear the truth, don't give the Lord a nod. When you acknowledge the truth, praise the Lord. Amen. If you want deliverance, praise the Lord. Amen. If you want healing, hallelujah. hallelujah. If you want to kill the seed of pie, don't give him a nod. Praise the Lord. Okay, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brother Woodard. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again. Praise him one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It gives me great pleasure to be here today. Oh, okay. Give me great pleasure to be here today among the saints of God. And I uh, just want to just let everyone know that whenever I'm in the house of God, I'm happy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My name is Elder Freddie H. Jones. Uh, my pastor is Elder Nissan Stewart from Great Emmanuel Temple. Hallelujah. 
And, uh, and I'm here tonight also in another state as men's ministry president of, of Central California District Council. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I just want to say thank God for his goodness and his greatness. Amen. Thank you so much. Praise Lord. At this time, we're going to, uh, and shall we all stand, please? And I want you to really consider, let the Lord put in your heart what he wants you to give and give what you are able to, and, uh, and the Lord will bless. Dear Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you told us it is more blessed to give than to receive. You told us we should give not grudgingly or of necessity, but that you love a cheerful giver. You love a hilarious giver. Lord, so we are giving joyfully because you've made us able to give. We ask you to bless this offering for the purpose for which it is received. Bless it and make it a blessing to each and every one. Restore it to us many times over in the way we need it most. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You're in the hands of the ushers, please. All right. The ushers will direct you. this wonderful region, Lord God. Continue to put for the furtherance of your kingdom, Lord, and bless everybody that has given unto you, Lord Jesus. Bless those that didn't have it, Lord God, for next time, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. I want to ask one more question. We acknowledge a lot of churches. Is there anybody here from Jacob's Ladder? Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I came expecting a miracle tonight. I sat here and I'm looking at all of the instruments coming in. I said, boy, we're going to party with Jesus tonight. I'm all excited and, 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 and started out with the praise team, but I'm really glad to be here tonight. I came to do a job, but the job is blessing me. Amen. <laughs> And of course, my pastor is Bishop jo uh, Robert T. Douglas. Amen. And I'm excited about what, what we're all working together to do Praise to make the dream come through for CCDC. Amen. Amen. I'm really glad to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. God bless you. Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for the music ministry team. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm going to ask... Two people to stand. They're both in this row at each end. Will, will, will you two people stand, please? Praise Lord. There's a reason I asked this young lady to stand. Many of you know Sister Tierra. Not all of you know all the work she did. Say praise the Lord. But all the communication that you received and all the, all, the, all the flyers and all the advertising and the materials that we're putting together for tomorrow. 
She's been doing that uh, in spite of being on a new job with new responsibilities. The Lord has blessed her to still have time to do that. We thank the Lord so much for you, Minister Tiara. Say praise the Lord. I, I want to say one more thing before I refer to this line. She is one of the ministers in CCDC. All those that are ministers, all those that have ministry licenses, that have ministerial licenses, please stand. Say praise the Lord. Remain standing, but I just want to say there should be more there, there should be even more ministers than this. Say praise the Lord. There should be even more ministers than this. And the bishop's emphasis and plan is to place a lot of emphasis on ministers and let them so I thank the Lord for all you ministers. Praise the Lord. And you are a very vital part of our council in our region. Thank God for you. Minister Joan is uh, over the music ministry team of the region. And I will present the microphone to her. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, what we try to do, and the regional choir, y'all can come on up. Y'all can come up while I'm talking. Uh, what we strive to do is work with all of the churches and districts in our region in the regional music ministry. And each regional meeting that we have, two districts participate in um, planning and organizing the regional choir and so forth. So for this meeting, it would have been uh, districts six and seven. Uh, however, one of our uh, team representatives uh, has something. Her son is getting married this weekend, so she's not able. So I'm kind of subbing in. So this isn't this isn't usually my turn, but but here I'm. And uh, uh, along with that, brother Aaron Quarles was instrumental in helping to plan out the activities for the regional choir. Amen. Amen. Uh, and if I can say one other small thing, next month is the council. The council is in Palmdale, and it's the July council. In July, they have services all week. There's a men's service on Monday and a women's service on Tuesday and uh, other services Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all week. So we are hoping that we can see people out at all of those services. On Tuesday, the women's service, there will be a state women's choir. And I have been requested to bring one song for the state women's choir. So I hope that there are some people in this room who plan to be in Palmdale on Tuesday. I hope we've got some ladies who can meet with us in Palmdale on Tuesday to sing with the State Women's Choir. The songs are not difficult. Uh, there's an email that went out if you're on the state email list. There's an email that went out. So we hope that we can see you there. All right. You refer to the Women's Choir the women's ministry of CCDC. I just wonder if anywhere in the house there's a person that might know anything about the leadership of the women's ministry of CCDC. Oh, did she step out? All right. Well, we all are, we all are aware that Sister Portis, say praise the Lord. The minister Portis, praise the Lord, is a leader of the women. And we want all the women of Region 1 to get with Sister Portis and be a part. Say praise the Lord. I'm sorry I'm interfering with the choir, but I'm just emphasizing the purpose of the region is to support the CCDC. So we do want Region 1 to be a strong supporter of the women's music on Tuesday night, on Tuesday night of the council. God bless you.
say praise the Lord. Thank the Lord for those wonderful songs. Now, now you know if Region 1 has that many in our choir, and, and this is not all of our region choir, if all the regions get together, that we'll have the large, strong choir that we want at our councils. Thank you, sir. Praise Lord, everybody. Amen. We're progressing. Now, I, I want to make one announcement before our speaker comes. Uh, there is additional parking at the House of God Church, and you all know where that is, Pastor Greer, 1740 West 59th Street. When you come down Slauson, instead of turning north, turn south. You go a block, and you'll be at the church of uh, House of God Church, and there is additional parking there, and there is a van that will transport you from there here. So some of you may have had a challenge finding a parking place today. And I hope there'll be so many of us, there'll be a problem finding a parking place tomorrow. So if you, uh, instead of having trouble parking, go down and park at the House of God at uh, 59th and Western, and there'll be a van to transport you here. Say praise the Lord. I, th I thank the Church of Apostolicity for the wonderful job they've done preparing to host us for this service. Say praise the Lord. God is great and greatly to be praised. God is an awesome God and greatly to be praised. We, we said a part of the purpose of the regions is fellowship. And we want to be bringing, always bringing more of our churches into fellowship. Say praise the Lord. We have some wonderful churches in region one. We have some strong churches. We have some anointed churches. We have some growing churches. And while we're working on our churches, let's work on our fellowship also. Say praise the Lord. Amen. And so we thank the Lord. We are encouraging fellowship. And our speak say praise the Lord, everybody. Our speaker for tonight is one of our strong growing churches. And the Lord is doing great things over there in Captain. Tell somebody God is great and greatly to be praised. God is an awesome God. And greatly to be praised. Amen. And we thank the Lord for Temple of, say praise the Lord, being in fellowship today. They're going to be here in fellowship tomorrow also because we have many wonderful things we want to do. And their very fine pastor is our speaker for tonight. And I, I see that their choir is here. Say praise the Lord. I think Temple of Faith is here and they are ready to minister. At this time, please receive him with a wonderful amen three times. Amen. 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 Preach. God bless you. Pastor Mayfield. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's give God a hand, praise. Amen. Can the choir come? Can, can the choir come? Amen. Before we get started. Come on, give God a hand, praise as the choir, if it's okay, Bishop, to render a selection. Amen. Come on, give him a hand, praise as they come, and then we'll get into the service. Amen. Receive the Temple of Faith. Amen. Choir. Amen. In Jesus' name.
Let's give God a hand praise real quick. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand praise. Let's have church. I want to I want to I want to do one thing. I feel like I'm at home. Amen. This is about fellowship. Can everybody just go show everybody some love? Amen. Let's go just grab somebody and let's have church. Amen. Can I have a praise team back? Timber of Faith praise team back. Go 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 love on somebody. Come on, go love on everybody. Somebody go grab Sister Sam, so I'm going to pray. See, come on back. Amen. Go grab. Amen. Evangelist LeBlanc. Come on. Amen. Somebody go grab First Lady Portis. Come on, First Lady Alexander. Just go. This is about fellowship. Come on, everybody. Is the praise team ready? Go grab Sister Meadows. Don't, don't tell the bishop. Let's our church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go grab somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go grab Freddie Jones. Everybody, let's have church. Come on. Everybody, put your hands together. We're down through the years. God's been good. Everybody sing down the years. Yeah, yeah. God's been good to me. That's our church. He's been good. He's been good to me. One more time, everybody. 
everything down to the years that's when you're to me Amen. Tell your neighbor, I know that Jesus is going to fix it. Go touch about two people and say, I declare, I declare Jesus is going to fix it. Come on, somebody, name it. Jesus is going to fix it. Come on, somebody, say, Jesus is going to fix it. Can we just have church? Give God a praise. Amen. Give God a Shabbat praise. Hallelujah. Let's bless him. Come on, let's bless him. Come on, everybody. Let's bless him. Come on, everybody. Jesus going to fix it. Come on, son. Jesus going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it. Let's go back to Pentecost. Jesus going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it, y'all. Jesus going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it, y'all. After. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. <laughs> give him praise. Come on, give him praise. After the storm is over. He's gonna fix it. Come on, after the trial is over, he's gonna fix it. You might gotta cry, but he's gonna fix it. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Come on, glory to 
Glory to God. Come on, he woke us up this morning. Come on, glory to God. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. We should be praising God. Amen. I want to do one more thing. Amen. Can. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Amen. God is pulling me two ways. I see a lot of folks' protocol has been set. But Ken, as we embark on Pentecost Sunday, come on, somebody, if the Lord should tarry. I just feel led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Can I get everybody just to stand on their feet? See, this is action. How many know the healing is action? Deliverance is action. Restoration is action. Revival is action. And I want on, on a count of three, I need everybody on as we embark in fellowship. Come on, somebody. I need everybody just to say hallelujah with everything that's in you. On the count of three, one big cry. Come on, we need everybody just to come together. Come on, somebody. On the count of three, I want your biggest hallelujah. Amen. I want your praying hallelujah. I want your fasting hallelujah. I want your forgiving hallelujah. Come on, somebody. One. Everybody, come on, somebody. Two. With all your heart, mind, and soul. Three. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Woo. Hallelujah. I feel some I feel some chains fall. Come on, somebody. I, I feel some situations turning around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see some, some strongholds. Amen. Being set free. Amen. You can take your seats in the presence of the Lord. I come to have church, y'all. Amen. I come to bless the Lord today, this evening. Come on with all my heart, mind, and soul. Amen. Hallelujah. I won't be, amen, up here too long, but it's just an honor, it's a privilege to be before God's people in any capacity. This is for God's glory. And, and there's so many people here, and give me just a few minutes. Because I believe in giving honor to whom honor is due. So we do honor, amen, the angel of this house. Amen in his absence. Mr. Portis, First Lady Portis. The Church of Apostolicity. Come on, everybody. Bless God. Come on, everybody. Bless God. They have, they have been truly kind to me, to you, to us. So we do honor this household. Amen to, amen, our suffering bishop. Amen. Thomas Alexander, First Lady Alexander, the Cross of Christian family, give them a hand praise. Amen, my big brother in the gospel. Amen. District Elder David Richardson, give him a hand praise. His membership. Come on, give him a hand praise. Amen. I want to say to my, my new brother, Amen. Pastor Mike Turner. Amen. Give him a hand for First Lady Turner in her absence. The New Hope Apostolic Church in the city of Compton. I do honor my lovely wife. Will you stand, honey? Will you stand? First Lady Sister Pamela right there. Give her a hand praise. The Temple of Faith. The Temple of Faith. Can I get the Temple of Faith to stand? Amen. The Temple of Faith family stand. The Temple of Faith family stand. The Temple of Faith family stand. Amen. I want to say real quick, amen, and I want to get to this, but I would be remiss if we didn't honor, amen, First Lady Mildred Sims. Come on, give her a hand praise. Come on, give her a hand praise. Bishop Raymond Sims, we honor his memory. Amen to each and every one of you, the precious people of God, and if I forget somebody, 
Amen to the first ladies, the ministers, the people of God. Now, if I miss anybody, count it to my head, not my heart. Y'all should know Pastor Mayfield by now. But we honor everybody here from the youngest to the eldest. I want to move on. But I want to say, amen, I see someone that's a prophetess. I recall many years ago, amen, I was a young preacher. And I wasn't even a preacher, y'all. I had an opportunity, Pastor David, to be before God's people, and I was scared to death. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't let it come out of my mouth. And, 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 and this anointed woman of God, she may have forgot this, but I'll never forget it. She said, uh, it's time for uh, the butterfly to come out the cocoon. Come on, let's give Evangelist Lois LeBlanc a hand praise. She says, time for the butterfly, do you remember that? To come out of the cocoon. I received that and been giving God the glory. Amen. Ever since we do honor um, the Lord and just what he's doing here in this house. Amen. Bishop Alexander. And we do honor our self well, our diocesan bishop, Robert T. Douglas in his absence. Amen. My father in the gospel. Amen. We, we, we you know, um, leadership is a blessing from God. I said it's a great blessing from God. Strong, anointed leadership, men with vision. And all we have to do is line up and come on, catch the vision. And it's for God's glory that souls will be saved. Somebody say amen to me. Amen. amen. So with that being said, I want to, amen, we had a couple of scriptures. Amen. I want to recognize uh, uh, our, our pre-council theme. And uh, so uh, I want to turn our attention. And then in my studying, uh, praise the Lord, I, I got something uh, in another passage of scripture. So can we turn to uh, the book of Jeremiah chapter 6. Amen. 6 and 16. And then I want to tie uh, Jude uh, 122 with that. And I promise you I'll be out your way. Amen. As soon as God released me from this assignment. Amen. Now if anybody felt led just to come to the altar and if anybody feel pricked in their heart amen this thing's about soul that you want to go down in Jesus name. Come on somebody I know it's water. Come on I know it's water I can feel water. Come on somebody so just get, just go to the water. Somebody say amen. Everybody resting on their feet. We want to look at um, just a couple passages of scriptures. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Amen with loud apostolic voices. Amen it reads on this wise. Uh, Thus said the Lord. Does your Bible say that? Yes. Read it all together. Stand and see. But can we read that again? In your preacher voice. Read. We will not walk therein. Amen. Let's look at the book of Jude. Amen. New Testament scripture. Uh, one, one, well, it's only one, amen, chapter in Jude. So let's just go with the 22nd verse. Amen. When you're there, say, I got it. Amen. Read it. Amen. Thank you. Give God one more hand. Praise. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading. Amen. And receiving. Amen. Of his holy word. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. I, I want to say this, that um, we certainly want to recognize, amen, the pre-council uh, theme. It's, it's making a difference. Everybody shout making a difference. Amen. Speaking into the atmosphere, making a difference. Amen. amen. Uh, began to take notes and write. Look like I wrote a whole thesis, so I know I won't get through all this, but uh, making a difference is a theme. Amen. And my personal thought tonight, amen, as I stand, amen, before the people of God is uh, ask for the old path. Amen. Ask for the old path. Amen. It's ask for the old path. Amen. I was just looking, amen, uh, driving from the end of the empire and amen on this afternoon. And there's just so many roads that, amen, that we can go down. 
Amen. You got here to the house of God. You should be blessing God. Get your attention off me because it's a lot of past. Amen. A lot of roles. Amen. Uh, that we took different roles, but we're here today. Amen. So as I look, amen, into the book of Jude, amen, it's a very important book. Amen. I was doing my homework, amen, for the people of God today. Amen. Because it's written for the end times. Amen. It's the end of the church age. And uh, the church age, amen, begin on the day of Pentecost. Come on, somebody. Y'all pray with me. Amen. Pray for me. Amen. So, so Jude, when you look at Jude, it's the only, it's a hard book to preach out of. Come on, somebody. But, but I look at the theme, and Jude is the only book given entirely to the great apostasy. Amen. It's, it's deep. It's, it's to the great apostasy. Now, now, now Jude writes, amen, about evil works. Amen. Amen. And, and evil works are evidence, come on, somebody, of apostasy. Amen. Apostasy, and we, we don't even, a lot of folks don't even know what it means, but apostasy is refusing, get this, to continue or to follow one's faith. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's a total desertion of one's religion. Amen. One belief and even one's God. Amen. Basically, just turn your back on God. Uh, come on, somebody. Amen. But here in the book of Jude, amen, he admonishes us to contend. Come on, somebody, for the faith. Amen. If the people of God don't stand up for God, come on, who's going to do it? Amen. So, amen, we need to understand and, and that there are tares among the wheat. Amen. Come on, somebody. We need to understand that the time that we're living in, people of God, get this. There's false, there's false prophets. Amen. They're in the church, y'all. Amen. Come on. There's false. Amen. I mean, come on, somebody. The people of God, the body, come on, the body of Christ, the ecclesia, if you may. Amen. We are in danger, y'all. Amen. I said we're in danger, y'all. Amen. Come on, somebody. People of God, the only way we will truly make a difference and, and, and incorporate with the theme, amen, we need to go back to the, to the old path. Oh, y'all missed that term. The only way we're going to get this thing right, people of God, we got to go back to the old path. Why is that, Pastor? Because, amen, holiness is still right. How many know that holiness is still right? Come on, somebody. Y'all pray with me. I'm going to get through this. Holiness is still right. Can I get everybody just to shout holiness? It's still right. Amen. We need to go back to the old path. Let me get through this thing real quick. Amen. The word old, and I like that in the Greek, amen, is defined as paleos. Amen. Paleos. And paleos is personal. Amen. Guess this. It's something that's no longer new. Amen. It's something that's worn. Amen. First Lady Mayfield is something that's traveled. Come on, you praying for me, honey. It's something that's used. Uh, amen. It's something, amen. Paleos is something that's experienced. Uh, it's old. Uh, but the path, get this, y'all. The path is a trail. Hallelujah. And, and I want to hoop a little bit if y'all let me, but let me let you know what I'm hooping about. Amen. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about this path. Amen. It's a trail that has been blazed prior to. Amen. It's a, it's much sacrifice on the trail. Amen. amen. And it's a, and when you go down a certain path, a certain trail, it's, you find yourself surrendering all. I mean, you just want God. Come on, somebody. It's a track. It's, it's a trail that people, amen, are just traveled. Amen. Travel spiritually. Travel naturally. But it's all a certain, amen, ground, a certain terrain. Amen. Get this, y'all. Amen. Child of God, there are spiritual paths. And there's psychological paths. Amen. There's mental Past, uh, amen. It's physical past, amen. A test can be a, amen, a path, a, a trial can be a path, amen. But it's based on your test and your trial, amen. What, what path you on, uh, you can trust God and be blessed, uh, you can, amen, be fighting and, and get in the flesh, and then you got, uh, amen, situations and circumstances. Give God a hand, praise. I want to slow down, <laughs> hallelujah. Path, get this. A path is a position, it's a location that can be changed. Come on, somebody, by moving. Amen. A songwriter said, Amen. I just heard this the other night. It says, Take me back. Amen. I said, Take me back, dear Lord. Y'all know that song. It said, To the place, Amen. I first receive you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Do you remember when you first got saved? Come on, somebody. Do you remember when you truly repented? Do you remember when you went down? Come on, somebody. In Jesus' name, and someone tarry with you until so you do you remember. Do you remember? Do you remember speaking in tongue? Do you remember hearing yourself speaking tongue? Well, get this, people of God. What happened? Hallelujah. We need to go back to that experience. We need to go back to that relationship. We need to go back on that path. Come on. 
know somebody that what God was getting the glory. Hallelujah. People of God, in order to truly make a difference, we need to go back. Don't fight it. Amen. Don't talk about it. Hallelujah. Just go back to when we had power with God. Somebody say hallelujah. The Bible says, and I want to get through this thing, the highway of the upright is to part, depart from evil. Hallelujah. We must depart from evil. Amen. It's a lot of things people are preaching and teaching and make you feel good. But the reality is, ain't nobody telling us to go back. Ain't nobody telling us to look at the man in the mirror. Folks think they got it together. But when you go through certain tests, you go through certain trials, some stuff come out of you. Give God a hand, praise. Somebody say hallelujah. Aha. Uh -huh. It says he that keepeth, amen, his ways preserves his souls. Uh, amen. This thing is all about souls. Uh, it, it, don't forget it. Uh, it's about souls. Uh, every church, every apostolic church, uh, we should be about souls. Uh, not about numbers, honey, uh, but how many souls are being saved? How many souls are being delivered? Uh, how many souls are being set free? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, not about numbers, uh, but it's about souls. Hallelujah. Y'all praying for me. I want to get through this thing. Amen. The Bible says that enter in at the straight is the gate because narrow is the way. Get this, which lead it until, until, unto eternal life and few there be that find it. I'm talking about the path. I'm talking about the path. You need to ask yourself, what path are you on? Hallelujah. What path are you really on? Amen. Tomorrow is not promised to me. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Like Elder Barber say, amen, here today, go today. So we need to make sure and very sure we're on the right path. Give God a hand for it. Oh, glory to God. So there's no way, there's no way, no new way. Get this, no new way in serving God. The Bible says there's, there's nothing new under the sun. If it's new, it's not true. Amen. It's either all right or all wrong. The life you're living right now, the life that I'm living right now, it's either all right or all wrong. Hallelujah. Give God a hand praise. Amen. I want, I want, I want to get somewhere. I pray y'all praying for me. Amen. Amen. Y'all pray for me. The Bible is not a book of suggestion, uh, suggestions, uh, or man's thoughts. Folks talking all out their neck. And that ain't even the Bible. I was with a preacher. He told me he was telling me some scriptures. I said, wait a minute. Uh, brother, I said, that's not Bible. Show me that in the Bible. I said, a matter of fact, hey amen, I ain't been saved all my life. I said, brother, you quoting Tupac. And I told him, he, he was quoting Tupac, talking about this is what thus say the Lord. The devil is a lie. Come on, the devil is a lie. Hey amen, pick up your Bible, read your Bible for yourself, and then live it for the glory of God. Give God a hand praise. Let me go a little further. Amen. Y'all pray for me. The Bible says, amen, amen, follow peace with all men. Follow peace with all women. And holiness without, no man shall see the Lord. Hey, come on, somebody. Amen. No man, holiness without, get this, people, no man shall see the Lord. God has not called us to uncleanliness, but unto holiness. Amen. Be ye holy, because God said, I am holy. Come on, somebody. I'm going what's wrong with this? Uh, amen. In order to make a difference, uh, that's the theme. Uh, we need to go back to the old path. We need to go back to the old path. When you look at the old path, amen, people of God, on the old path, you'll find an omnipotent, uh, omniscient, uh, omnipresent, uh, dunamis, uh, power of God. Uh, amen. On the old path. Uh, hallelujah. The question is, the question is, well, what is the old path? I'm glad you asked. Uh, the question is, where is the old path? Uh, come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember when I look at the old path, it's the highway to heaven. Uh, amen. It's the highway to heaven. Uh, amen. I remember of the old path. Uh, it's the path that Abraham, uh, it's the path that Isaac, uh, it's the path that Jacob took. Uh, come on, somebody. It's the path that Moses took. Uh, it's a path that David took. Uh, it's a path that Elijah took. Uh, get off me, devil. Come on, preach this thing. Hallelujah. Give God a hand, praise. 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, the Bible, amen, y'all push me, wait a minute. The Bible said that they believed God and accepted God, amen, a word as a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. Holiness path. We need to make sure that we're on the right path, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The question is, do we really believe God? The question is, do we really believe God? The question is, do we really believe God? Hallelujah. It's a righteous path. It's a sanctified path. It's a consecrated path. It's going to cost you something. You better know how to fast. You better know how to pray. You better know how to live something on the holiness path. Give God a hand, praise. Hallelujah. It's a breath path. It's an anointed path. Hallelujah. It's a path that can't nobody get the glory but Jesus. Hallelujah. In order to make a difference, we need to be on the old path. So in the second text I had, amen, it's going to bless us. It's the text of the day of Jeremiah. When we read Jeremiah's ministry, amen, to the people of Israel, there were days of deep spiritual wickedness. Amen. They were dealing with adultery. They were dealing with fornication. They were dealing with idolatry. They were dealing with hatred. They were dealing with wrath. They were dealing with strife. They were dealing Come on, somebody. We're backbiting. <laughs> Sounds like now. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. But it is. What path? We got to go back to the path, to the old path. In that text, there, people of God has sinned against God. Amen. To the point, amen, where God was ready, amen, to give them up into captivity. Amen. His chosen people. Amen. God loves each and every one of us. Come on, somebody. God loves each and every one of us. But amen. Look at the word of God for yourself. Hallelujah. Anything that's out of order within yourself. Amen. We're not judging nobody, but the word of God is judging everybody. Come on, somebody. Give God a hand, praise. I might not be back, but it's going to be tight and it's going to be right. Give God a hand, praise. Here in that text, amen, the people, the people of God in that scripture, they was, amen, they was on the wrong path. And, amen, the scripture comes to mind even right now in Elder Freddie H. Jones. Amen, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Then he fired back and said, well, God, forbid. God forbid. The Bible in that text, they were on the edge of judgment. If God don't set it, we're on the edge of judgment, y'all. Amen. He blessed us right now with another opportunity to get this thing right. He woke us up this morning. Amen. Not the fuss, not the cuss, not the backbite, but another opportunity to get this thing right. Give God a hand, pray. The Lord desiring that text was to see them turn back. Amen. First lady may feel back to him. Amen. It was his grace. Amen. It was his mercy, Deacon Dunn. Amen. But amen. But it but it's your path. It's God's grace. It's God's mercy. But it's your path. It's, it's my path. And then we're gonna have to give account of what path that we're on. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me go on a little further. I'm watching the clock. Uh, give God a hand praise, and I might shut it down a little sooner. Hallelujah child of God in that verse right there amen we was when you read it it says that that we were given an image of a traveler and I talked about this at home and amen it was one who came to a fork in the road uh, and we've all been in fork of the roads in our lives come on we can go this way and be blessed we can go that way hallelujah and find ourselves far from the peaceful shores but here in that text if I may amen he given him opportunity, amen, to go, amen, any way he or she desires. It's free will. Hallelujah. But God tells him in that text, ask for the old path. If you want to be on any road, go back to the old path. Hallelujah. I said we need to go back when the church had power. We need to go back to when the church was fasting and praying. All night shut in. We go back when folks loved each other in the church. Go back when folks prayed for you. We need to go back. Hallelujah. 
to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Y'all pushing on me, but that's all right. Hallelujah. And instead of just traveling blindly, a lot of folks just traveling blindly, the traveler here in that text, amen, is to stop and ask for direction. We need to stop. Amen. We need to stop and make sure that we're going the right way. Hallelujah. Well, pastor, I'm going the right way. Yeah. If God snatched the covers out of all of us right now, it'll be a sad story. So we need to get this stuff right while we can get it right. Give God the praise. He says in the word, if you hide your head, he'll show your feet. So we thank God for grace, a little more grace, a little more mercy. Give God a hand, praise. Let me get through this thing. Hallelujah. So, amen. It's too many people, amen, in the house of God is filled with pride. Too many filled with, amen, sin. Hallelujah. We need to stop that mess and ask for the old pal. Hallelujah. We need to stop that mess in order to make a difference uh, hallelujah too much time valuable time uh, is in the flesh uh, seeking their own ways uh, ways of the flesh uh, ways of the world uh, just carnal christians uh, the devil is a lie uh, paul called them soulish uh, amen we don't need no carnal christians uh, we need to do what thus say the lord uh, we need to go back uh, to the old way uh, give god a hand praise i'm trying to get there y'all i'm trying to get there y'all I'm trying to get there, y'all. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord wants his people back on the old path. He wants us on the path that's leading him, leading us straight to him. Hallelujah. In that text there, it's word of correction. was spoken over the Jews. But guess what? We can learn from the scripture. I can learn. You can learn. We can learn. What, pastor? That holiness. It's still right in order to make a difference. Hallelujah. People of God, we need to make sure we're walking on the right path. The path, amen, that God has ordained. The path where you can be blessed. The path where you can be healed. The path where you can be delivered. The path where you can be free. The path where you can be revived. Give God a hand, praise. The path, the path. The path where God can reach you is the old path. But I'm trying to get through this thing, and we're almost done. The Bible tells us that God is commanding, amen, telling his people, amen, to them not to allow themselves to just go astray. He loves us so much. Well, how do you know that, Pastor? Because the Bible tells me that he, amen, cried, amen, for Lazarus. But guess what? He died for me. He died for you. He died for us. Hallelujah. I'm watching the clock. The Bible says false prophets, false leaders. It's your sin. And I learned this. Amen. For my Sunday school teacher in the back. There's sins of omission. There's sins of commission. There's conscious sins and unconscious sins. Hallelujah. I never forgot that. Give God a hand praise. In order to make a difference. See, you never know who's going to pour it to you. We got some blessed folks in this body. All we need to do is receive it. Come on, somebody, receive it. Come on and just receive it. It'll take root. Amen. And it'll grow. So here we find, amen, that God is asking us uh, to look back, amen, and men like Abraham, men like Isaac, men like Jacob. He wants to look back at men like uh, Bishop Henry L. Johnson and Bishop Michael J. Garrett, uh, Bishop Gentry W. Richardson Sr. Come on, somebody. Bishop Carl W. Stewart. Amen. These were men of God that walked in obedience. Hallelujah. Who made a big difference. Making a difference even today. Hallelujah. And I'm ready to quit. But let's go on a little further. Hallelujah. We need to go back. We need to go back. Hallelujah. What path are you on? But we need to go back. Don't fight it. Just go back. Don't fight it. We got a rich heritage. Don't fight it. Just go back. Don't fight it. Don't rehearse it. Don't curse it. Holiness is still right. Holiness is still right. 
holiness is to your right. We got to go back. I must, I must go back. You must, we must go back. On that path, you'll find he's a Lord of Lords. You'll find he's a King of Kings. You'll find he's a great I am. You'll find the Alpha and the Omega on the old path. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. On the old path, he's a mighty God. He's a Prince of Peace. He's a Lily of the Valley. He's a Rose of Sharon. We got to go back. We are apostolic. We are not confused. Well, hallelujah. There's only one Lord, one faith, one God, one baptism. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One God, 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 one God. There's only one law, one faith, one baptism, one God, the Father of all, who's above all, and through us all, He's in us all. It's in Him we live. We move, we have our being. What's his name? Come on, what's his name? What's his name? I'm going to shut it down for time's sake. People of God, tomorrow is not promised to none of us. Come on, somebody. We have to be sure and very sure that we're on the right track. Come on, somebody. Can I do an altar call, Bishop? Can I do an altar call? Come on, somebody. Now, all heads bow. All heads bow. All heads bow. A lot of times, we go through certain tests and trials. It's not designed to destroy us. Come on, somebody. It's designed to strengthen us. But if we don't handle it spiritually, come on, somebody. We'll be in the flesh on the wrong path. Somebody say glory to God. So if that's you, just come to me. Come on, just come to the altar. Can I get all, all the pastors, all the pastors, bishop? Come on. Come on, I see Quran in the back. Come on, give my hand praise. Come on, I need all the pastors. Come on, all the pastors. Come on, get the, get the oil. And we're going to pray for the whole church tonight, y'all. Come on, all the pastors. We got our job, our assignment is to watch for the souls. But we have to make sure that they're on the right path. We got to make sure that we're on the right path. Come on, everybody. Everybody, when it comes to prayer, should be moving should be moving it should be moving everybody just move if you're not moving if you don't need prayer if you don't need deliverance that's a sign that you might be on the right path on the wrong path can i get everybody to stand and come to the altar please come to the altar. please come to the altar please come to the altar come on we come on please come to the altar Come on, everybody. Make sure you're on the right path. Make sure you're on the path of holiness. Come on, everybody should be moving. Come on. I love you, Lord. Can I get somebody to sing that for me? And I... Come on. Come on, let's have the atmosphere of deliverance. Everybody should be moving. Don't just come get your prayer. I love love you Lord and I lived my voice to worship you oh my soul Rejoice 
to take joy, my King, in what you
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's say praise the Lord. How many know the Spirit of the Lord is here? The Bible said, now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, how many can sense that the Spirit of the Lord has been here tonight in a mighty way? Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. Tell somebody, we can make a difference. The theme said, on some have compassion. When you look in your neighborhood, and you see what's going on, have compassion. When you look in your church and your family and see what's going on, have compassion. And don't think that we can't make a difference. Look at Jude 22 and say, let's care, let's have compassion, and let's make a difference in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a hand. Thank the Lord, hallelujah, <coughs> for the moving of his spirit. If you all will, will suffer me, I told you what the budget is, and I'd like to get at least halfway there tonight. And we need about $500 more to get halfway to our budget tonight and then do the other half tomorrow. Praise the Lord, Pastor Shorter. God bless you. He's got 200 here, so all we need is 300 more. Will you stand, please? And as the Lord has blessed you, if uh, the same people that received our offering before, if you'll just come down and stand Amen. And if you'll just come up, amen. And we don't want to be wearisome to you, but if the Lord allows you to do so, and if you're able to do so, come and be a blessing again at the end. We want to, we want to make our budget so we can be a blessing to the council, a blessing to those that have served us and hosted us, and a blessing to our saving for the ministry. God bless you. Pastor Shorter, he's going to say, we're... Oh, we had a wonderful time at his installation last Sunday. Amen. He's going to have some words to say to us. Amen. But will you stand at this time? Will you stand, please? And just come down and touch the plate if that's all you are able to do. But if you're able to put a 20 in here or a 10 
please stand and I, I'm just going to ask you I thank you for being so patient with me but I want to ask everybody to stand and come down and, and, and touch the pan and if you're able to put something else in there go in and do it in the name of Jesus and the Lord will certainly bless us for that haven't we had a wonderful time in the spirit of the Lord today God bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, you can't beat God giving. The more you give, the more he gives to you. Pastor Shorter, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Some of us had the opportunity to be at that wonderful installation service last Sunday. Say praise the Lord. That was a highly anointed service. Amen. And Pastor Shorter was installed. Please come, Pastor Shorter, if you will. Amen. And, uh, and have words to say. Praise the Lord. And then we're moving. Right. Haven't we had a wonderful time? The Spirit of the Lord has been here in a mighty way. Thank the Lord for the ministry of this man of God. God used him greatly. God used him greatly in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, I told you all that tomorrow we're bringing in a, a preacher from Ohio. But I just want you to know, we don't always have to go to Ohio. Sometimes we can get one straight out of Compton. The Lord will use them in a mighty way, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know the hour is late. I know we have expended a lot of energy tonight. But I wonder if you could just indulge me for a few moments by giving God the very best praise we can. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on, like he's worthy of it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He's wonderful! He's awesome. And he's my all in all. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? <laughs> Who wouldn't serve a God like this? To the household of faith, we say praise the Lord. We bring you greetings from up the road on the other side on Crenshaw and Bethesda Temple Church. What an honor it is to be here. I apologize for my tardiness. I'm coming up from San Diego. Amen. But I thank and praise God for being here tonight for our region one service let me just give god one more hand praise we honor god for our regional bishop and the person of suffragan bishop thomas alexander and to lady out minister alexander lady alexander we say praise the lord to our guest speaker tonight amen pastor mayfield come on can we give god a hand praise Amen. Of course, this should go to Richardson and to Elder Turner. Amen. And to the household of faith, we say praise the Lord. I thank God for, amen, Apostle <laughs> Elder coming to be with us uh, tonight. Elder Williams, amen. <laughs> we appreciate you coming. I asked the saints if they would come, and I appreciate at least one of them coming to be with us tonight and to meet us here at the service. To everybody, we say praise the Lord. On behalf of my wife and I, we want to thank God for region number one for supporting us in our consecration the installation services past Sunday. We thank God for you taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us. And on behalf of our church family, we've been through a lot, but to see your encouragement will help us push even further. Amen. And forward in faith. And so we say praise the Lord to y'all. We honor God for just his visitation. On behalf of my wife and her absence as well, pray for us. We got a little another addition coming to the family. So, <laughs> so pray for us. Amen. 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 To the household of faith, we say praise the Lord. God bless you all in Jesus' name. As they say, there's more than one way to grow a church. <laughs> praise Lord. Praise Lord, everybody. I'm going to ask First Lady Portis if she will please come. First Lady Portis, uh, she's in the office. Somebody, well, uh, whoever from Church of Apostolicity is going to be taking charge of the evangelistic outreach in the morning. Will you come, or, or if you get Sister Portis out, so somebody will get her out of the office. Praise the Lord, everybody. And so I just want to uh, reiterate, say praise the Lord, amen, that at 8.30 uh, in the morning, 
first of all, first of all at, uh, yes, at, uh, at 9 o'clock, there will be a pastor's meeting for the pastors that we're not able to be in the meeting today. Amen. I'm going to ask uh, to support us, uh, support us to tell us about the evangelistic outreach. So if you'll do that, then I'll briefly go over the rest of the program for the day. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. The word was good. Amen. Amen. So tomorrow morning, we're going to start off with the evangelistic um, outreach service, out service, but outreach is going to be out here on the four corners. We have a uh, a routine that we do where we get on the corners and we get out and we just witness to everyone out there in the street, no matter which direction you're going, we're there. We got somebody right there. Amen. And we filled some bags with some literature about the churches, about things to help them to know how to, you know, come in and find out about Jesus Christ. Amen. And we also have some giveaways in those bags already pre-stuffed as well. So we would love to have each and every one of you to come out tomorrow morning at 830. And we're going to be out witnessing and talking to those in the community. Amen. 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 Say praise the Lord. At nine o'clock pastor's meeting at 10 a.m. The vision of our bishop, we're going to be, that'll be the session at 10 o'clock. What does the bishop want us to be working on? At 11 o'clock, spirit, soul, and body needs assessment. What do we need? What do we need in youth ministry? What do we need in women's ministry? What do we need in men's ministry? What do we need in evangelism? At 12 o'clock, we'll be eating lunch. You won't have to go out. It'll be served here. At 1 o'clock, there will be ministry breakout teams. So the men's ministry will be in one area. The women's ministry in another area. And you'll have a facilitator help you start working on your plan, assessing the needs and making the plan. At uh, 2 o'clock will be the afternoon worship service, about 1.30 or 1.45. And then we'll be out by 3 o'clock. So plan to be with us on tomorrow. Tell somebody we can make a difference. We can make a difference in Region 1. We can make a difference in our churches, in our families, in our communities, in the CCDC. Yes, ma'am. One thing I forgot is we're serving continental breakfast tomorrow. So if you come in early for the, uh, um, the outreach, we do have continental breakfast that will be available at 7.30. Amen. So get up early, get some breakfast, and we're going to go out and hit the streets. Amen. So pray. Isn't Church of Apostolicity a wonderful host church? Say praise the Lord. We couldn't have come to a better location. We just can't wait to see where we're going next. We may go to San Pedro next time. We don't know what the Lord is going to do. We've already been to Bethesda. We want to make a difference in our communities. Please stand at this time. Pastor Shorter, would you uh, say any last words and dismiss us in the name of Jesus? Amen, amen. We do honor God for our host, Pastor District Elder Portis. Amen. And Church of Apostolicity, we thank you so much, amen, for your hospitality. Grab someone by the hand tonight. Father, we thank you for your move. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you, O oh God, for the words, O oh God, that come to charge our spirits, O oh God, that we never forget, O oh God, the way that has been made, O oh God. Strengthen the hand that I hold tonight, O oh God. We squeeze encouragement into them, O oh God. Healing of the mind, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Just as sure as I hold their hand, O oh God, let them be reminded, O oh God, that there's salvation, O oh God, in you and confidence in you, O oh God, is just as sure, O oh God, if we live right in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Anchor us, O oh God. Position us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, for greater works, O oh God. I squeeze healing and deliverance, O oh God. Peace of mind into the hand that I hold, O oh God. They shall be above and not beneath in the name of Jesus, O oh God. I charge the hand that I hold, O oh God, to go forward in the confidence that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, O oh God.
hide this word that we heard tonight in our hearts, oh God, that we sin not against you, oh God. Hide this word away in our heart, oh God, that we leave this place and go out and make a difference in the name of Jesus. Father God, encourage the difference makers whose hand I hold, oh God. Father God, illuminate, oh God, and reveal, oh God, your plan for this last evil day, oh God. Strengthen our home, oh God, mind, oh God, and spirit. And we honor you and we ask that you bring us back tomorrow with an appointed praise unto you, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen and amen.